this video in previous video we saw about uh, creating a new part file this is what I taught you and once the part file is created we learned about how to sketch using line command in this tutorial I am going to teach you about the next command rectangle circles how to sketch those things so once the plane has been chosen click on the sketch view the plane gets oriented into your selected plane now in the previous tutorial we saw about the line command in this tutorial we will see about the rectangle the rectangle it has this one is a corner rectangle click on this to create a rectangle specify a point and just drag the mouse and once you have reached the required dimensions again left click a rectangle is being created and if you click on the central mouse button scroll button the dimensions will be displayed and you can edit the dimensions from this options this is one type of uh, creating a rectangle and another type of creating a rectangle is slant rectangle to create a slant rectangle select the slant rectangle type click on a point you'll be seeing a line like this just choose the angle at which the rectangle has to be inclined once the angle is chosen just again click the mouse button just track you'll be seeing the rectangle and after completing you can add the dimensions anytime this is a great feature in Creo you can add and edit the dimensions at any time of your sketching if you want this to be 120 I can give it as a 120 see it has changed so this is a type of rectangle the third one a center rectangle for this the first point the first click of the left mouse button will be the center point of a rectangle and from there if you drag using this as a center point the rectangle enlarges and once if you click again it will get locked and here too you can change your dimensions as you did in the previous case so you could see that working with Creo is very easy to be honest this is a type of uh, rectangle the final one being a parallelogram I'll just teach you wait a second okay fine the final one being a parallelogram to create a parallelogram just click on a single point as you see in slanted rectangle a line will be emerging you could just click where you want the line to be placed and click the left mouse button again see this is a parallelogram you could even align it straight to make a square or you could keep it at a re required angle and just make a click as always you could even change the angle once you have locked it Creo offers you much flexibility with working with it when working with it so these are the types of rectangles and the icon I'm using here is from the editing palette this delete segment once if you click on this and just click the left mouse button and drag it wherever you see these black lines those lines will get deleted that's a simple tool right okay fine the next one we'll be seeing circles this circle is a center point circle on the first click you'll be assigning the center point for a circle and you could just drag the mouse and choose the end point of a circle you could all also change the dimensions this is a simple the next form of circle being concentric the center point of the circle to draw a concentric circle draw a circle first and then just click on this and you could see I could draw many concentric circles one above the other so these are concentric circles the third type of a circle is being a three point circle just assign three points on the window and you will create a circle the first point I have kept here the second point anywhere on the screen and see the third point 
so this is a three point circle whatever be the method you could change the dimensions later you could change to any value you want <coughs> sorry so you could change the dimensions to any value so okay fine that's what about the circle this one is just a tangent circle if you have a three line segments if you click those three line segments a circle will be created touching those as a tangent the third one is a three point arc we'll be using this mostly okay fine for three point arc just as you did in a three point circle create three points that's it here too you can change the major dimensions major diameter minor diameter etc then coming to the ellipse and this one is a two point ellipse so just click you could see a dotted line and where you want that line to be placed just click again and drag it vertically not horizontally when you click on vertically you'll be getting a ellipse so as usual you could change the dimensions and the model changes accordingly so see i have changed the dimensions to anything you could change the major diameter you could change the minor diameter anything you want and the model changes accordingly this one is a spl spline curve we'll come to it later when we deal with extrude and i don't prefer to use these fillets and chamfer uh, for drawing using the sketching but however i'll teach it how to use it if you have a line like this and a line like this which exactly coincides at 90 degree you could use a fillet just click on the fillet click on these two lines and it would get into a radius part and then you could also change these see so this is a fillet tool and for chamfer the similar click on the chamfer icon click on these two lines it would get chamfered then you could edit the chamfer distance and the model gets regenerated as usual so these are these two and this text is just for draw writing letters click on the text icon just click a line you would see a line like this and this line represents the height of the text once you click it you will be asked to enter the text text i giving it as a b c c this is what whatever text you make changes background of the screen this aspect ratio is just how large the text would look and from this you could select the font you could select every font you want if you give okay you could also change the size of the text later so this is the text icon um offset okay fine drawing a line like this and if i want another line to be offset it from this line at a distance at say at a particular distance click on this offset you could see this arrow mark stating stating that it is offsetting downwards so i need to enter the offset uh, distance i would write it as 5mm and if i give tick c at 5mm i have an offset of another line so this is an offset command which can be used in sketch and these points they'll be using in 3d modeling i'll i'll teach about it when i come to 3d modeling this palette icon this palette icon is used to sketch readily made polygons so you could see a three sided triangle four sided square pentagon hexagon heptagon up to i icosagon 20 sided so if you want to draw any of these just click it drag it into the screen and place it you'll get values so you could control these values also so you could control the dimensions of these values later see so it gets changed into every side changes into 1.5 mm and if i give this as zero it comes to this axis and if i give it zero it comes to this axis so this is an octagon two three four five six yeah it's an octagon so this is how we use various tools uh, these are the various sketching tools in creo looks easy right so i'll teach with this in the next tutorial i'll teach how to ex use the extrude command thank you for watching this